Welcome back, I'm DRN, and this is Mecha Bellum. This is our first tournament in quite some time. This is game four. We're trying to get second place. Our opponent is Harls. Here we go. Right, we've been offered cost control, speed, quick supply, and giant. Ooh. Um, quick supply is jumping out at me here. Because um, I quite like having the tempo advantage and the economy. I'm not a fan of steel balls right now. I think they're in a fairly weak place, actually. The 200 cost unit is disproportionately important in quick supply. So Giant is jumping out at me as well. Yeah, let's do Giant. He's gone. Marksman Specialist, interesting. With a lot of fangs. Hmm. So with what he can see on the board, he's almost guaranteed to buy two more Marksmen. We need Chaff. And our choice is between Crawlers and Fangs. Fangs are better versus snipers and tanks, so I think that's our best bet, but we'll be outnumbered for the first couple of rounds. Which is fine, it just means we're playing on the back foot. I'm putting these a little bit further over on the flanks to avoid uh, a kind of kill box brawl being set up. Because I don't tend to play Vulcan, so I often have to position against Vulcan. Sometimes you'll see players put all their frontline chaff right in the centre to try and pull everything right into the middle. Which then makes it an absolute killing field for Vulcans. Or storm callers with fire. Just a little bit more space, so if there's a free missile on the first options, it's a bit harder to kill too much stuff. Right, let's see what he's doing. Yep, extra snipers. He's positioned his chaff behind his tanks, that's interesting. Um, it's a setup you normally use when you're thinking about going fortress, because then you put fortress with shields down, and then even more fangs in front of those fortresses once the shields are up. I think we're doing okay here. We'll probably lose this round because of the high level marksman, but that's okay. As long as we get a few kills, get some experience on our tanks, we've done fine. And I think we're doing okay here. Just hope none of his snipers get too much experience. Right. A little bit of damage, no big deal. We knew we'd be on the back foot. Ooh. Hmm. Tricky. Um, he's going to pick Intelligent Marksman. I think I have to go Assault Scorpion then and try and brute force the front line. Um, a little bit hard because it's too early to actually buy the Scorpion, so I'm telegraphing that I'm going to go Scorpion the turn before I do, but maybe he won't notice. Let your opponent make the mistakes. Don't assume he'll play perfectly. Just thinking, is it worth pushing 50 for an extra set? I think it is. Hmm, where to put these guys? I've not played a flank in a while, and he's gone very far forward with his stuff, and he's quite central, so I think we can punish with this open space here, or at least bait out an overreaction. Wow, even more marksmen. Hmm, still very central as well. Oh, and a missile, that's a shame. But I guess we're kind of buying 50 off him, because this missile is now spent. Not a big deal means he'll notice that I've played the flank. Some players like to view like I do here with default positioning and sometimes they wouldn't notice if they didn't have a missile there that the flank was incoming. Um, looks okay, fairly balanced. Late arriving crawler is actually a very strong thing here for us. Completely distracting the marksman. I think we need to match them if we can in the future. Once the crawlers get onto the marksman it's GG here. But we'll need a few more of them. Speed up. Right, we're still behind the tempo, but we can see some openings. So there's space for us to work in here. It's only chip damage, I'm not worried about it. Right, what do we get given? Ooh, Mustang Rhino Overlord Wasp. Hmm. He's gonna pick Mustang because it eats our fangs up. I think we match that in case he goes air as well. It's always good to pick some which counters multiple things. And this left side is where we almost broke through, so we can kind of mirror that on the right while he's busy dealing with our flank. Arranging our arc lights, they start shooting sooner. And so it's more likely the crawlers will be ahead of them when the fangs are all dead. I think we can pressure this flank even more and really threaten like dropping fortresses maybe next turn just by leaving space for them. See how he responds. Happy with this. But let's move these guys forward a tiny bit so they arrive a little bit sooner and have a bigger impact. The level 3 Mustangs, they're pretty good at killing everything. And we'll make a great item carrier later if we get offered something good. Ooh, Rhino. Okay. 
He's planning on doing a suicide rhino play, just with the way he's positioned him so far forward. He's kind of crying out for hackers. Um, but he probably anticipates me playing hackers. Maybe he's hoping he gets the anti-interference module. Ooh, that's a big boy in the midline. Hopefully I crawls on the flanks so I get through to the marksman. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to break the tower with the fangs. He's not really answered the flank very well. I wasn't expecting the Rhino pick, but it's not bad. It's just a little bit exposed here. Um, it does good work this turn, but maybe if... I don't know, he's not going to sell it because he's already bought two more Rhinos as well, so he's kind of invested in Rhino. I'm not a huge fan because Melting Point or Hacker just annihilate them. And they just can't touch air. So effectively they lose to half the units in the game. That's a good kill. That's a lot of experience for our units. The unit that gets the killing blow gets half the XP, and the rest of it's kind of spread out on anything which hits it. And it being level 3 means we get 5 times the experience from it, which is huge. Okay, improved firepower would be great on our big Mustangs. I think improved firepower is kind of irreplaceable here. Doubling the damage of our level 3 Mustangs is massive. Right, we need an answer for this Rhino before it eats everything. I'm thinking Fortress, because they're great at popping rhinos, and getting experience on them will turn to big shields for them in future as well, which will protect from the uh, suicide rhino explosion if that's an option picked. Just don't want to overexpose it to that big sniper. Let's get some more chaff to protect him. Hmm, sorry, just having to think. Put those thoughts into words, drone. People aren't psychic. Uh, my flanks just feel a bit thin, he's shown rhino contain where you put rhinos right in front of everything and give them all the suicide rhino tech. So I'm a little bit worried about that right now. Thankfully he's not gone for it. He's gone for Mustangs to answer the flank. Makes sense. But he's still buying missiles, so we're slowly draining his economy. And he's going to be worried about me dropping fortresses on that flank as well. Okay, we've won the left, he's won the right. Makes sense. We get the tower first, which is normally a really good thing. we can get some more experience on our Mustangs and get them out of control. Yeah, he's going to get our tower, but that's okay. We've already killed off a lot of his units, so it's less impactful now. Arclight's getting some good kills. Oh, speed, sorry. Oh, nice, second tower kill. That's so much experience. We even had the Fortress alive at the end of the round. Wow, good damage. Ooh, choices. Giant Hunter is a bait, I am not picking it. <laughs> Shield is almost cost efficient, it doubles the health effectively, and it protects from javelins. So let's do that. Get these upgrades. Wow. These Mustangs are so strong. Right, let's get another fortress and some more fang. He does have Final Blitz, but he's not picked it yet. And if he does pick it, we'll just go Hacker or Fortress Shield and just completely negate it. There it is, he's gone for it. Okay, we've got a plan. It's going to do 66,000 damage, which would be enough to kill a fort if he gets onto it. That's kind of scary. At least we've got the shield on the big one. Can we bring it down before it gets to us? Let's find out. Yeah, I think we're okay. Just, maybe? Maybe? Oof, nope. We got the fortress. Ouch. But at least we've still got one standing. He'll do work on the tanks. Oof. That second explosion was nasty as well. Okay, so this right side's a bit scary right now. Mm, he gets the tower first this time. Makes all the difference. Means he gets to shred our units while they're debuffed before we get a chance to pop his tower. Doesn't matter though. We'll do a good amount of damage in return. We've got an answer waiting for him. So I'm not too worried. Ooh, we might even win this. No, not quite. Still, good effort, lads. Nice try. <laughs> Every single one of these units beats rhinos. Oh dear. Feel bad for my opponent. Hacker is the key for me though, both the shield and the steel are great. Thinking we take range and a couple more, and hoping we can turn those tactical nukes against them when the rhinos explode. Let's pop a shield down. No, let's get long term board power, let's get shields on Arctic boys. Ah, still feel a bit naked. Can't afford the shields on the hackers because we're in range, so we have to push and get natural shields and hope they'll live through the round. Mm. 
not ideal, but it also lets us upgrade these Mustangs. Uh, temporary range is kind of necessary, just in case we end up with the Hacker versus Hacker, which we have. Ooh, he's bought some Scorpions, I like it. And he's pushed as well, he knows it's the late game. Hmm, range on the Snipers doesn't seem to do much here. I'm not really making the most of this flank either, but he's still using the missiles. So we're still making steady progress on his economy. I think the flank's paid for itself now if he's used what, four missiles. No, not quite paid for itself. Go on, hackers. You can do it. Go on, turn them around. Yes, nope. Oh, <laughs> what was that? He hacked it back, but it just meant it exploded in no man's land. That's fine. Okay. We're looking fairly solid here, actually. Uh, getting crawls onto the... Wow, the hacker's range. Look at this. It's insane. So I'm hacking something and he's hacking it back. But it's not enough. <laughs> Oof, the health swing. As soon as hackers come out, it's crazy. Just look at the damage. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Missile specialist. Oh, EMP. It's got to be EMP. Like, I can cause so much mischief here by stopping his hacker getting range, stopping his snipers getting range. Yeah. Damage in his shields he drops as well. It's huge. And he's less likely to pick it because I'm showing shields. Kind of interesting. Push plus 200 and 10 range. Gotta do it. Hmm. Now, which needs to upgrade? It's got to be the hacker. Not left with a lot to spend though. Can I cause some mischief? Hmm. Missiles won't do a lot here, they'll just get eaten by the uh, rhinos. Um, I think just more chaff, more bodies on the board will help us here. Dare I put them up? No, that's silly. Just put them back here, that's fine. Um, 100 left over. I've not taken damage yet, let's do that. That'll help speed up our hacks. Let's see what he's thinking. Ooh, cheeky missile play. Will it be enough? We've stolen the rhinos with full health now. <laughs> he's stealing them back. Oh my word, it's gonna be rhino ping pong. Thankfully the shield saved us. Oh, we're gonna steal a hacker? Yes! <laughs> hacker stealing hacker is so silly. I think we've got a nice concave here. There's no way you can win this. Yeah, sorry friend. Tower down, and then the hacker's just healing everything that we steal is kind of crazy. It's gonna one shot the tower. Oof, that's nuts. Sorry dude. The hacker stealing hacker was just horrible. Yeah, good game though. Right, let's have a look. Whew, what was good, what was bad? So the hacker, he went multiple control. I didn't even notice that. Interesting. Um, the Mustangs were just absolutely wrecking. Look at the stats. So much damage, so many kills. Just one unit of high level Mustangs with an item. It's just, oof. Chef's kiss. All right. Um, hmm. The Rhinos were an interesting pick. I liked them at first, but I think they need protecting and shepherding in with some crawlers maybe to match their speed. Um, he answered the flank well, but he was buying missiles far too often, and he never got range on his Mustangs, they never did more than just deal with the flank, they never broke through as a huge threat on themselves, apart from that one round where they got to the tower. Uh, the missiles on this corner up here were just terrible, I don't know why he kept buying them. Uh, just draining his economy when he could have had more upgrades and units, like look at all these snipers that could have had upgrades. Um, but yeah, as soon as the hackers came out, the game just ended. I like this flank and this spacing because it kind of threatens, you know, Vulcans, fortresses, anything can go behind these things. Yeah. So I think he should have had maybe an Overlord in the corner here or a Vulcan just to chew through everything and not buy missiles. Um, or maybe put these Mustangs further back to do the same thing rather than exposing them on the front. Because they died to the uh, Rhino explosions later on in the game. Uh, arc light range did work. I'm glad I got it this time. Never got shields on my fangs though, that was probably a mistake. Right, let's see how we're doing. <laughs> One more MMR, slowly getting it back. Right, let's see where we are in the tournament. 
How did we do? Stormberg, our opponent from the second round, won the tournament. Good lad. Ooh, fourth or joint second if you're being generous. I'm not sure how these minor points work. Alright, there's still some games in progress, but we can't do any better than second. So, happy with that. Thank you for watching. Hope you had some fun. I really enjoyed playing this tournament, I'll be honest. Hope you enjoyed watching it. See ya.